This is David at Anarchapoco 2020 with Patriot Flement, and I am here with Ralph, who is a Carrot Bars guy, and you're going to tell us all about uh, the affiliate program and, and Carrot Bars, and you have some of the physical uh, notes as well. Absolutely. I've got the physical notes, and I have a piece of technology with me as well. And it's a pleasure to be here, David. Thanks for, uh, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, thanks for coming on. We had yeah. a very interesting. I didn't know anything about carrot bars when I got here. Yeah. Um, I know about Digix, uh, DGD, and DGX. Digix Deo. Yeah, exactly. And so I was familiar with some crypto gold type things, but uh, what what's going on with carrot bars is totally different. Absolutely, absolutely. We're a gold based coin. Okay, so ours is a um, uh, based. Okay, so you can have gold back coins and they typically are like having paper okay they maybe have an ounce of gold and they have a thousand uh, contributors and so if you actually went to collect and wanted to get part of your asset it doesn't exist so it's a concept right so we're not a concept that's the great thing about this project and and what I can do is I'll tell you a bit about the story about the background on carrot bars you know we are affiliate based system we are not MLM so it's not a pay to play what it is is we are direct marketing so you can come in in a free position you're allowed to participate in everything in the company and if you're wanting to develop a business where you can earn income then you by choice can participate that's a one-time purchase okay you don't have to do it again next month you're not buying a product to consume every month okay what we do and our whole concept is is that we didn't want that to be something that mandatory that you had to exchange your declining fiat currency for gold every month we wanted it to be a free will right we don't want to force our um, business plan on anybody to participate because some people can afford a gram a day some people can afford a gram a week some a gram a month some 0.1 gram a month and that's the beauty of our system. Pretty much most developing or developed countries in the world can afford a 0.1 gram a month. In my language, because I'm Canadian, from, I'm from Southern Ontario, I uh, used to work in my career out west in Alberta, but uh, it would be represent between seven to nine dollars for that 0.1 gram. And, and just let me show you one of the notes. I have a couple of them here. Um, and this has been handy and it's a pretty it looks like a currency but there's a point one on the bottom and a point two on top so to acquire one of these once a month it's like you know between depending on the price of gold at the time and it's what's nice about this is the spot price of gold is one thing we have classic cards I don't want to complicate this but we have classic cards that were the original product from offered in 2011 and beyond up until uh, sometime in 2017, we started actually offering cash gold. And then we got it at a, a reduced price. Now, I don't know if your audience knows, but gold is gold is gold is gold. If it's 24 karat, 99.999% pure, then it's gold, right? So whether it's in any form. So if it's in a classic card, our standard classic cards would cost me about $90 Canadian. Okay, whereas this here is going to cost me right around seven, okay, a little over seven right now based on the spot price. So you can see we're paying our retail price per gram on the classics, but the cash gold, it's the beauty of it. And not only is it more cost effective for all of our affiliates, but we have a use for this. People can acquire this on a weekly, daily, monthly basis, whatever they choose, and when it gets to a certain point, point of value they can now exchange that for technology right we have different technologies available also you can use that cash gold built up on a gradual basis to participate in our what's called the dual team process and that's the income side of the affiliate base so you don't have to just put large amounts of money in up front you can just do a little bit as you can afford or want to and then once it gets up built up to a certain point where you can participate in the uh, paid side of things you can use the cash gold as currency because really uh, this was the first currency gold mm -hmm. right that's what was available you know so many thousands of years ago what is the so the whole carrot carrot bars program there's a bunch of different sort of 
um, divisions of that, right? There's a, there's a gold bank side, and there are people who just use carat gold as a way of saving in gold, right? In particular, you, you guys, uh, you and Robert talked about folks in the developing world who can't get access to bank accounts, uh, but through your program, they can get a MasterCard if they sign up as an affiliate, and then they can begin purchasing gold um, through Carrot Bank, I guess. Well, it'll be through Carrot Bars. Carrot Bars, Bars is the parent company that started back in 2011. And uh, as of a uh, point in 2017, we became the largest uh, distributor of small increments of gold in the world. So, so how would that work? So let's imagine that um, there's a guy or a family in the developing world and they want to buy a tenth of a gram a month. Um, how do they buy that? What's the mechanism? How do they take the delivery? And then how do they spend that? Let's say they've accumulated enough that they can get out of the country they're in or buy a house or whatever. Right. Uh, just from the, for people who just want to use it as a means of, of securely saving assets to use later in the future, how would somebody do that? Right, well, just to go from the, the, the full cycle, what it is is Carrot Bars, and, and actually our Carrot Gold universe, we call it, has an entire ecosystem. So it's from entry, in the middle, utilizations, okay, and then it's exit, right? We are a complete ecosystem. And, and one thing I really want to point out, we had a white paper when we came to the decentralized side of the things, the world. Um, but we no longer are in that phase. We're actually out of the ICO paper, uh, white paper phase and into the real world. We're into the crypto, we're into the gold. Our ecosystem now is perfecting, we'll be developing it over the course of the next weeks, months and years, but it is complete in its entirety now. So we've got um, an entry into carrot bars where anyone around the world, we're in a, over 145 uh, countries around the world that can participate in carrot bars and acquire any amount of gold down to the 0.1 gram that they choose. Now, how they would enter would be, and typically, and I do deal in countries that are gen that are developing. What typically happens is we find a leader in that country, and that person tends to be a little more affluent, and they have a credit card, they have a bank account, and then all the other affiliates that have assets that they can convert into their fiat, uh, and then they can give that to the person that has got a credit card, and in their account, they would acquire the gold, okay? So they would do it together. It's, it's a little arduous in a, in a country like that, in a developed country, but it is possible, and we're doing it successfully. Um, because what we want is them to acquire enough and to introduce this to whoever they're comfortable with. And we have a process that we use to do that. And because of the internet, I'm in Canada, but I'm developing in Africa, I'm developing in Europe, I'm developing in the United States, I'm developing down now in Arcapoco because um, I just actually signed up a new affiliate this morning that's from um, somewhere in San Diego, all right? So I can communicate with him over Zoom and what we do with our affiliates is we teach them to do an invitation, a presentation, and a three-way conversation. And this is what it looks like. Because the learning curve to get to the knowledge where I have, I've been six years in this, and I've developed my knowledge a little bit over the course of time. Now, I chose to be a leader. I didn't have to, I do it voluntarily, because I really believe that I need to use my gifts to expand into the world and help other people. Now that sounds all noble and everything, but you know, I, I'm, I'm just a guy and I, and I do truly get fulfilled for helping other people. So what I do is I offer uh, my Zoom room up for use with my team. They then introduce it to someone that's interested in saving in gold and wanting to know more about the business. But I, that person doesn't know enough to educate the other person and that's not duplicatable. What we've come up with, with the invitation, presentation, three-way conversation, is a duplicatable system by virtually anyone. You don't need to know a single thing about this business to actually earn money and to develop other affiliates. You introduce it to someone, are you interested? If I could show you a way you could acquire 24 karat gold, uh, pure gold, and not have to put any money out of your pocket, then 
you would be interested in looking at more. As soon as they say yes, I'm going to send you a video. And I have not met a single person in a developing world or in ours that isn't, doesn't have the ability to do that. Because one thing about the developing world I've found is that most of them have phones because that's their bank. That's the way they receive their money transfers through wires, right? Um, through Western Union or whatever it would be, their process. So what we do is uh, we offer them the ability to transfer a, a file, eight minute and 44 second video that gives you a very good overview of our ecosystem, the entire ecosystem in that time. And it's really a very powerful uh, video. And it's short. Anybody can take 10 minutes out of their day and have a look at it. At that point, they're gonna have questions. But the person that introduced them to it doesn't have any answers. So I'm a leader in my group, my goal director, Elite One. It's uh, two positions from the top of the pay system in the company. And so I'm able to do three-way calls. You need to be a goal director or above to do three-way calls with people. So they would then introduce their prospect to me after they've watched the video, and I will answer all their questions with facts. I'll back it up with any information that they're wanting. I'll give, and if they don't ask the right questions, I'll make sure that they know about the important things. We, our gold is not just taken out of the ground, purified by us, and we slap it in a card. I mean, this is uh, LBMA certified gold from a certified refinery. Okay, Carrot Bars is not LBMA certified, but where we get the gold is. And so it has, the classic cards have um, multiple, uh, multiple um, uh, security measures, right? So there's DNA on the gold itself. There's black light technology. There's other hidden uh, securities. So I wanted to test back in the day to see how liquidatable this was. I wanted to go and find out. I took one of my classic cards to a bullion dealer, a local bullion dealer in Ontario. And I said, okay, I threw it on the table. What can I get for that? And uh, they looked at it and said, okay, this is the price that we pay for that, for a gram of gold. And I said, well, don't you need to say it? They said, no, we've seen thousands of these. Our company, because they're, they're, the company I went to has multiple locations across on uh, Canada. So they were very familiar with our gold. The whole entire world now, we've been around since 2011, is very familiar with our gold. It's very recognizable. How, they, much, how much gold um, has carrot bars or carrot bullion put into circulation between the cards and the notes? Oh my goodness. How many ounces that is? Oh, uh, countless. I mean, we've got, just so you know, um, on the carrot bar side, we grew to $100 million a year in 2017. This is of gold. A gold. That's okay. just so on the gets, carrot bar side it gets of things. Distributed every year. Correct. Okay. Now we think, I believe, in 2018, it went to 330 million in gold. So that's you know, 100,000 ounces, give or take. That's a lot of grams. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of grams. And so the company, one of the things that we get asked is because the company is completely debt free, and and I've been around long enough. I actually know. I know a lot of the leaders. I know a lot of the company people. The company is cash flush. I mean, we're debt free. We, we have a product that everybody in the world wants because when we also teach people, you know, if you can put away 10% of your annual income, we don't tell people to put 100% in a physical asset. That's not smart, right? But 10% is a good idea to have in a physical asset. And we teach them how to save in that, but we want them to know that it's real gold. We want them to know it's secure, whether they take delivery of it or not, because we have third party storage that's available if people choose to, because what I do is I only take delivery of the gold that I acquire once a year. Right, so I'm quite safe. I feel quite comfortable leaving it with the company because I trust them, because I've never had them not come across with something that they've said they would do. How does, so again, like let's say there's somebody who just wants to use carrot bars as a way of acquiring gold. They don't want to become an affiliate or for whatever reason. They just want to use it. That they want to use it as a way of getting a, you could call it a secure bank account in a non-fiat asset. Um, how do they? What's the benefit to the users of the product? Right. Okay. So you're you're talking about acquiring a physical asset that you can use. You have that has multiple uses today. Um, we are setting up what's called. POS systems and K merchants around the world, and it's becoming more and more popular. We're populating that now. There's thousands of them now, and 
as far as a bank account, your account is a bank account, right? Okay, so right now there are limited uses that you can do for it. You can do it within our internal, but at any time you can take delivery of that product and you can go to a bullion dealer or typically in even a developing world, there are jewelry stores because all countries love gold, right? So there's jewelry stores and they will accept our gold and turn it back into their fiat of their country. That is how we do the turnaround now. The future of carrot bars and part of our ecosystem is, is that we're going through a process right now and it's called hard forking because it is a process. A lot of people think of it as a destination. Well, our, the starting point for us was September 15th of 2019. This is, this is getting off the Ethereum blockchain. Yeah, block sorry. Chain. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, you that ERC20 so token. So you have a token. Correct. Uh, and what is that called? The KBC. KBC. Now, can anyone, like I can go and buy Bitcoin or Digix or whatever. Yep. Can I go on, you know, whatever exchange, Binance or whatever, and buy KBC? Absolutely. You can go on. There's a number of exchanges listed on CoinMarketCap and our, on our website, and on CarrotBit.com, and you can see where you can actually acquire it. We're listed on, I believe it's like 15 different exchanges. Okay, what does a KBC token represent? A KBC token is a, um, oh my goodness, I'm lost the word, um, is a utility token, okay? Now also too, we're in the, I explained we're into the hard fork process, right? So we had KBC, that went ICO, coin launched in uh, August of 2018. Then we introduced um, KCB as an ICO. That is now launched. In September 15th, we did the hard fork. Process started. We're in that process now. And what's gonna happen is, that's an, uh, a token of ERC20 token of Ethereum. So it's a thread of Ethereum. And what we're in the process now of is migrating all those tokens, that's a true dual layer. And I'll come back to that, because that's really important for people to know. Um, and so what's happening is, we're now migrating our process to become KBC Carrot Net, okay? So that will be our own blockchain, developed by our team uh, through CarrotBit. And so once that process is complete, we're thinking the, towards the end of this year, uh, we'll have our main net totally up. It's actually been fully functioning since September 15th in the background, but because Hard Fork is a process, everything needs to be converted over and it takes time, right? I, I don't understand the process behind the scenes. I just know that that's what all coins that go through hard for it go through, right? So then, uh, okay, so then once it's complete and you guys are on your own, your own blockchain, um, what do those, what do those tokens represent as far as, so like, I, I know Digix, right? So I'm just gonna talk yep. in terms of Digix. Sure. In Digix, there's DGD, which is a token that represents the value of the company or mm -hmm. of the of the DAO. Yep. And then there's DGX, which represents a physical amount of, of redeemable gold. Right. Um, so how is the uh, carrot bars? How are the carrot bars tokens set up? I mean, you have all these you have these other services, too, which you can get into, like with the phone. and everything. Yeah. How is how is gold and these services and the value of carrot bars as a as a as a organization represented by the token. Yeah, well, what's gonna happen, like I said, it's a utility token and um, it's because it has a use, right? And we, because I said we're not gold backed, I said we're gold based because that base is gonna grow incrementally over the years because all of our ecosystem collects f s microscopic fees off of every transaction within the system. So half of those fees goes to acquire more gold to be add to the base that's in the vaults, right? So we have multiple kilos, multiple thousands of kilos in vaults now, okay? And that, you, anybody can go on YouTube and they can see the gold going into the vault, uh, Singapore, Hong Kong, in, um, where else did we do that? We did do a deposit in Miami, Florida, because we do have an entity there. Um, and so that's, that's what we're based on. But because we're not backed, by gold, that's not our only asset, because Carrot Bars actually is you know, has ownership in uh, three mines, three gold mines. So those are physical gold mines, okay? And so what's happening is we're not only producing our own gold that goes into a market, and in uh, China we have 
and I'm not sure exactly if it is in China. I know it's in Romania and uh, different countries where they're trading it actively. They take that gold and they trade it and the profits from that go to help add to the base of the coin. So there are, we're over a billion in assets, okay? Now, I can't quantify that with shows on our white paper, but there is some information coming out sometime in the near future that will show the actual assets of the company and it'll show the gold and the company's going to be transparent and that's coming up. That's what I love about this because it's quantifiable. So gold based, asset based is where the value and the security of the token and the coin, because it'll be a coin at that point, is coming from. Mm -hmm. And okay, yeah. So it, re it kind of represents the value of the organization as a whole and gold is a part of that. And then there's other there's other assets in the carrot bars universe. Well, of course, yes. So the no. um, you you had talked about or, or uh, Robert had talked about you and I had talked about off off the camera. Yeah. Um, this network using voice over blockchain and text over blockchain yeah. that happens over the same network. Yes. Uh, okay. Correct. That goes over the the carrot network or so that's, the network. That's, yeah. When that's all up and running, you know, that's one of the assets of the company is this service, this ultra secure communication service. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Yes. Um, how does that work? How does that system work? How does, you know, voice over blockchain work? What's the rollout? Um, yeah. What do you use to communicate with that? If you use special hardware, can you talk to normal people? How, do, how does that all function? Yeah. Well, let me kind of explain that right from the beginning. Um, a lot of people get confused when you say, and the confusion comes because people are wanting to elude that they have an ultra secure phone by saying we have a blockchain smartphone but what in fact they have is a voice over internet provider phone, smartphone that will communicate with the blockchain okay with wallets you can load on those and apps it will appear to be a blockchain phone and the wallet yes is secure that would be on a phone like that ours varies from that because our ours is an actual true blockchain phone this is a smartphone right i take this out this is a smartphone, very smart smartphone. I can communicate with you on your regular phone with this, with a SIM card, with a Wi-Fi connection. I can call you on this phone uh, through your Telegram or through an app that's approved because we have approved third-party apps. We also have proprietary apps. This is a custom operating system by CryptoData, and that's who wrote the soft. That's who wrote the operating system for this and the laptop. And how I would call you as a smartphone. I can do that with any smartphone, right? It works the same way. Now, where this differs is I create a matrix ID on this. When I plug this into my phone, it becomes a blockchain phone, not an internet phone. It is. It does require the internet, but so does accessing your wallet to access blockchain. Once you have accessed your wallet, you're over the blockchain. That is unhackable. Okay, I think we can agree on that, right? So, having said that, once my key is in and I log in to text you peer to peer, okay, peer to peer, um, then I log in to text another person that has one of these phones. Any text messages I send, any voice calls I make, any emails I send, any messages, any images are 100% secured by the network. Because if you can hack, my phone and see my blockchain information, you can hack Bitcoin, okay? Do you guys have any uh, white papers on that technology? We do have, uh, well, beyond that, we have brochures that describing the full specs of the phone that can be inquired at at caratbit.com. And what's, yeah. the, what's the name of the phone? It is K1 Impulse. That is the name of the phone. And um, what I like about it is you talk. You did talk about how this is part of our ecosystem. Um, a lot of people I've asked throughout Anarchapoco, and it's just been, it's so great, refreshing to be around so many like-minded people. I recommend anyone that's interested in the crypto space, you can learn so much here. You have to be a little discerning, okay? Um, there's a lot of people like you that have integrity and uh, are just, you know, driven to promote this and drive this field forward. And so you just got to be careful where you're looking at, but it's been a great experience so far. And, and but getting back to the, the, the ecosystem, I asked a lot, I just polled people. 
If I could give you unlimited calling, texting, email messages, storage of your files, storage of your images, uh, what would you be willing to pay for that per month? And most of them, some of them have said $100, were a little naive about what I was asking, but for the blockchain side of it, because you need to have one of these phones to communicate with another one over the blockchain. Um, they were saying, when it was really something that came down, they said 30 to $40 a month would be reasonable. This is $8 a month. That feeds our ecosystem. And can you imagine, we don't take fiat, we don't take paper money or anyone's currency. We take KBC as the fees. And if you know anything about the blockchain, if you can find a coin that actually has a use, this is self-fulfilling. Yeah, that's, right? what, that's what you mean by a utility token. Exactly. It's a little bit, so Correct. I'm familiar with BAT. Uh, you know, that's a common one, basic yes. token. Yep. That's part of the Brave browser. And it, it was maybe like one of the first mainstream utility tokens, at least I knew of. Right. And the idea with BAT was that you load BAT into your browser, and then when you visit websites, instead of seeing ads, um, you can just pay the website directly in BAT. Uh -huh. And so you're compensating the website for providing content and you're cutting out all this marketing advertising and you're just connecting um, the content producer with the content consumer in a transparent way that's secure right. for payment. That's easy to clear internationally because yeah. it's not money changing hands, it's not fiat changing hands. It's, so, and right. that's a similar concept for your utility token for the use of your network for secure data transmission. Correct, yes, because that's the definition of a utility. It has an actual physical use. Now, unlike most other tokens or coins, um, we our ecosystem is actually working today. Like, it's in use. I can call my other uh, fellow people. We've distributed 50,000 of these in the last two weeks, okay, out into the field. We want by the end of 2021 to have 2 million distributed. By the end of 2025, we want 20 million of these phones distributed. I really feel that that's a realistic, those are realistic numbers. If you do any amount of Googling on what the telecommunication industry does in distribution, this is a fraction of that. We don't need to reach everybody. We need to reach this community because this is not a toy. Okay, you're not going to play Donkey Kong. We're not going to play Candy Crush on this. Although you could, but you won't. This is, this is a bank. This is how the future is going to be. Everything will be done in here. All your financial transactions, all the manipulating of all your personal assets will be able to be done through this phone because we'll be able to access all your wallets, not simply KBC. Because currently we are involved with the pairs of Bitcoin. We pair with Ethereum and we pair with USDT. That's just to name a few. There's more coming as we develop the uh, ecosystem and as Carabit uh, and Avidio Tomo will add other tokens and coins we will be able to access you know, through our ecosystem. So if you know anything about an exchange, uh, you know how ultra, like, amazingly profitable they are if they're being used. They collect microscopic fees on all the transactions. There's typically not a deposit fee, but every time you make a trade, and there's thousands of them going on per minute, uh, there's a fee. Every time you make a withdrawal, there's a fee. That's typically larger because you're exiting the system. They want to take a percentage of it because that's how they make their money. Carrotbit is no different. If you go onto our Carrotbit site and just take a look at the markets, thousands of transactions are going on a minute and we're collecting fees. Well, that's a utility token. We're collecting those fees. It backs our system. So it actually goes to add to the base of gold because half of the profit that comes into the ecosystem goes into uh, adding to that base of gold. So it increases the assets of the token. Uh, well, it'll be a coin at that point, but right now it's still a token. So to clarify, we're still in that process. But you can see how I've only talked about two income streams. We have seven. All right, there's many income streams. So we probably don't have time to cover them all. But just to know, that is why right now you can get into KBC on any of the open exchanges or through Carabit with BTC or Ether and grab this coin at a price right now that's very cost effective. It's not gonna be here long. And it will never, as far as I'm concerned, it would take an act of God for it to come back down this low once we start moving.
okay? Because once the mainstream comes involved and, and sees the value of what we have and the ecosystem that is actively working and, and producing fees, generating the assets, and when we come to transparent, people will be able to actually go in and see it. That's what the crypto world's waiting for, the transparency. And when they see that, you're gonna wanna have lots of this coin in your wallets and uh, yeah, just never look back. Yeah, it's, it sounds like, I, I have a lot to, uh, to look into with, with carrot bars. Um, this is my first exposure to it, like yep. yesterday. You know? yep. So um, one of the promises of blockchain technology that is as yet unfulfilled there, there are several. Convenience is one of them. Yep. It's still, it's still not as convenient as it needs to be to work. Um, it's not as convenient as cash, and when it gets there, then it'll just dominate because it's better in all other regards. Um, utility, and there are a lot of these individual utility tokens that people have tried or are trying. Uh, backing or some sort of support with hard assets, and it seems there, there are crypto coins and tokens and and DAOs and stuff like that, that each do a piece of that. And it sounds to me, you know, from what I know now, and I need to need to study more about this, that uh, the Carrot Bars organization is trying to roll these into a into an ecosystem, like you were saying, to provide yeah. multiple services that are blockchain based through the same blockchain. Absolutely. Uh, we have, a, we have a, um, an application that's called Carrot Pay that will be entirely blockchain based. So that's where you can load your cash gold or your gold holdings, cash gold is what we use, into Carrot Pay, and that can be used in the ecosystem to, as, uh, uh, as a means of payment. How would you do that? Let's say you had cash gold, um, your you know physical notes or whatever. How would you load those into Carrot Pay and then and then transact? Well, of course, we're online, so they would need to have it in the system itself. So if you have physical possession of these notes, they're really only good. For you to and people with acquire gold typically are stock buying. They're, they're hoarding it, right? The hodling. So they're going to keep it in their vaults, not in a safety deposit box. Okay. Right. I think we're knowledgeable enough to know about that. Uh, we don't want to go there. But you keep it in a secure location physically themselves. That's one. That's one form of this. The form that you want to use online and part of the blockchain would be kept online in your wallet. So your your cash gold wallet. Okay, so we have two aspects of that. There's the wallet itself, and then there's Carrot Pay. So in Carrot Pay, if you can acquire your gold, when you're wanting to utilize it on the blockchain, you would load it to your Carrot Pay wallet, and from there, you can now have multiple uses to, uh, to spend it. Right, okay, and, that's, and, and ultimately, you could take delivery of that as physical and then hoard it if you wanted. So your you can, choice. You can use it transactionally, or you can cash out. So Correct. Right. Yep. Yes. And there's a very, in the very near future, you will be able to use that to acquire KBC on Carrot Pay. Carrot Pay. Carrot Pay. So the Carrot Pay gold. KBC you can buy. Gold. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Very, very okay. shortly. How does that, what's the integration with the traditional banking system? Because love it or hate it, you know, that's the world we live in. Well, that's a centralized world we live in. And right, people are more familiar with that. And in, in really, we have, the, we have a marriage, okay? And people in the crypto world are not used to that, right? They're used to being totally decentralized. But we're a company that is, a, is in a regulated industry with like gold. And so it, it's centralized. So we've got that side of it. But when you go over into the crypto side of it, it's decentralized. Okay. So um, as far as the banking goes, we are uh, going to, and it's publicly known, that we are going to have Carrot Gold Bank. Okay. It will operate similar to a bank, but we're, it's digital. It's going, to be a, it's going to be a digital bank, right? So all of our physical assets, cash gold, uh, crypto of any kind, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, and KBC right now, that's assets. If I have them and they're on deposit in my ecosystem, then those are assets. See, we want to create an asset-based uh, ecosystem, not a debt-based. Because the banks, then this is where we differ. Banks, they're all debt-based, correct? So with negative interest rates, and really, um, a lot of people don't understand what that means. That means, hey, great, I can go borrow money for free. I have had that said to me. 
if I want to borrow $100,000, they're actually going to pay me. Uh, no, sorry, it doesn't work that way, just so you know. It means that if you put $100,000 in the bank, they're actually going to charge you for doing that. Whereas they used to pay you one or two percent, now they're charging you about one. interest. Going, yeah, when yeah, you make right. a deposit, you no longer earn interest on your right. deposit. That's right, that's negative. That that is negative uh, interest rates. So you know that's and in, inflation adjusted. Inflation, yeah, it's inflationary. So, but that's a debt-based system, right? We have credit cards, we have lines of credit, uh, you know, overdraft. We have all those things. You have your loans, you have your line, you know, all those different aspects of debt. Well. Carrot Bar, like Carrot Bank, is the exact opposite of that. Okay. Now, yes, it is part of the centralized system in that way, but that's where it, the, the, the similarities end. Yeah, it's, it's hard asset, a, hard asset based. Hard and asset then, based. And then you have the blockchain side of it, which is the yeah. distributed um, right. secure side. So, it, you know, I guess what I would mean specifically is the, the crossover. Um, like one of the things that that hasn't worked out well for a lot of these companies, like Gold Money and you know so on and so forth, is oh, right. it's a total pain to buy their asset from your bank account. And so you right. have, you know, with Gold Money, I, I, there were some changes to that, or, or one of the other ones where you have to do like a bank wire to buy assets now. You can't just do it right. through a, you can't just do it through a, um, a regular bank transaction. You can't buy it with a credit card. I can't log into PayPal and you know send a few bucks and and have some grams of gold anymore. Right. Um, so what is the crossover like for uh, for Carrot Bank Gold or for mm -hmm. you know well with KBC you just get it on an exchange. Well, let me explain that process and I understand what you're saying. Um, the bank side of it is asset management, okay, and uh, and in the usage, it's not anything to do with entry. Uh, it has something to do with exit, but the entry point is typically going to go through care bars. You're wanting to acquire gold, and I'm telling you, anybody who thinks that you buy gold doesn't think about it correctly. You, when you buy something, I buy groceries, I buy a car, there's a lifespan for that. It gets replaced. I can't buy one car and it lasts me my life. I can't buy one set of groceries this week. I consume that. When you buy something, you consume it. This is, you acquire it. You take your declining fiat or your whatever currency you are, and you exchange it for a different form of currency. I still have the gold, I still have the asset. Whereas I buy groceries, I eat it, it's gone, right? So I like, I really like to explain that because um, people get a misconception. Oh my God, but I can't afford to buy gold. What do you mean? Every, even the poorest of people in the world can afford to buy gold, a little. So we don't want to talk about it buying, we're just acquiring it. We're changing, um, we're changing uh, mediums, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna change this into this, and this won't decline. All right. I mean, if gold goes down, which is not likely to happen, as you know, it's going up right now, and it has been. And if you look yeah, at depending it, depending on what you measure it in. Yeah, right. right. So, so what is yep. that process for? Like, you know, I talked to a friend of mine who doesn't yeah. care about blockchains yep. or whatever. It's just like, hey, I want a way to buy, uh, to exchange, yep. um, to have some gold. Uh, perfect. How do they do that? Absolutely perfect. You can go into Carrot Bars. You can sign up as a customer. There's Again, it's all about free will. It's your choice. You don't want to be an affiliate. You don't want to tell anybody about this and keep it to yourself. But even people that say that, uh, nine times out of 10, change over to affiliate because they tell their dad, they tell their sister, they told their best friend. And he's going, you can acquire gold at uh, whatever, 50 euros a gram? Wait, that's, that's, it's, that's as close a spot as an individual can buy a small increment in. Right, okay. very cost effective. So even not even talking about that, you can use, you can get it, set up and get your account with carrotbars.com. Better to go through an, another affiliate because not that we would benefit so much from that, but that they can explain the process to them. But it's very, very simple. Sign up, enter a little bit of information, very little actually, and go in and use a credit card, not a debit card, you can use a prepaid card, that you go, like in Canada, just for example, I can talk about that freely because I know how it works. You go to the post office, you buy a, a prepaid visa, prepaid MasterCard up to $10,000, okay? You can use that to fund your account uh, and, and do your exchange into gold. Take delivery of it, you take delivery of the classic cards, you can take delivery of the cash gold, leave it in there to, to utilize it. Uh, excuse me, I got a little red ant on my toe. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, cool.
So yeah, yeah people can check that out. Or you right. can sign up through an affiliate, and yes. that's this. And the the value that the I'm just trying to understand the value structure. The value that the affiliates add is they communicate this ecosystem to to the customer. So it's it's right. a um, you could say it's an educational value. It really is because you know we all all of us that have been involved in carrot bars, you know, throughout the years. And even new people will come in, and once they understand the ecosystem and they see the value in it, because our main our main product has always been gold, right? Our, what we distribute. So it's always what our fallback is, and because it's wanted and desired by everyone. So and we give you such great value for it. Um, if you look at any other grams of gold online, the Kind Bar, other similar products, they don't have the security that we do, and they're more expensive. So it, 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 the value is here for sure. And it's very easy to get involved. What we like about it and what I love about this is if someone chooses okay, to get involved in the income stream of it, then they can talk to their sponsor, okay, and that person would educate them on the value of the packages. And the, the income stream distribution, that's handled through the blockchain on a transaction basis, or how is that handled? Currently, that part of it is part of the centralized system of Caraparts. Okay, so somebody signs up and they pay a fee, and then the fee is distributed between the affiliate and the Carrot Bars organization. Oh, let me make, make that ultimately clear. There is no commission on purchases of gold. So when someone makes an exchange into gold, and you were to say to sign up with myself and become an affiliate of mine, and you went in and exchanged some fiat via credit card and got 20 grams of gold, um, I don't get paid any commission on that, right? It's not an MLM. So that's, that's like one percent over spot or whatever. Whatever it is, yeah, it's yeah, a very close to the spot. The gold gets delivered to me. Right. The Carrot Bars organization gets right. their percent, just like the Coin Store guy does. Yeah. Okay. So, so what the benefit to the affiliate, because to answer your question, is that there are units that are generated. Okay. It's a. You don't see them. It's all electronic but they build up. So for every gram of gold that is exchanged in your account, say like the 20, then so many units flow all the way up. Okay, so everybody captures that that's in that team, right? Um, the person that does the exchange doesn't pay a penalty for that, isn't paying a fee, okay, to do that. He's still getting his value in his gold, and that's the beauty of direct marketing. In an MLM, there would have to be a commission and in order for me to collect that, I would have to buy so much, right? I would have to exchange so much a month or a week in order to collect that because we get paid on our commission and on things that there are commissionable things in the business, uh, but to collect on my units, because that translates into dollars, euros, um, when you balance out the system, then it gets paid onto a credit card, right? So that, but that though is innocent to the uh, person doing the exchanging which is what I love. And that's what the beauty of a direct marketing model is. So you could you could sort of, I'm trying to fit this into a, you know, a, a analogous structure. It'd be a little bit like a share distribution from a company. At the end of the year, depending on the, the shares you hold, you get a distribution of the profit or whatever. And these, the, the electronic units that accumulate yep. um, in a distributed fashion. Yep. Uh, they are they are paid out, and that payout is some function of the value of the Carabars organization. Yeah, what it does is when you get when you're part of what we call the dual team system, I paid a one-time fee to become a VIP. Okay, that allows me to to earn in from the units up to 80 euros, what we call per cycle. Okay, that's part of the dual team system. So what happens is when I get 70, when I get 50 units on one part of my business and 25 units on another part of my business, that's called a cycle. It deducts those units from my totals and I get 80 euros put onto my MasterCard that I got issued from the company. And that's, that, it's a prepaid MasterCard, but it doesn't work like a prepaid. Some places don't take those. This works like a traditional MasterCard. So wh where do those 80 euros come from if the price of the gold is not marked up? Well, because just imagine, how much do you think uh, Carrot Bars is actually paying? And what are they exchanging for that gold? They're buying hundreds of millions a year 
Okay, they're committing to that. As it grew, they could make a bigger commitment, which reduced their price. Right, and so, so, so it sort of abstractly comes out of that little one percent. Well, I think I think it's probably realistically a little more than one percent above spot, but it's nowhere near. You cannot go anywhere that I know of in the world and buy pure gold for what you can get it for on Carapars. Right. Yeah, it's usually three to five or something like that at a coin store. And then there's a there's a buy sell spread. Oh, I think yeah. I, I think that you would need to quantify that for yourself because um, I've actually yeah, done it. Any, it's uh, much more than that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The stores, the stores in Alaska where we are, um, Alaska Rare Coins. Yeah. It's about three. Wow. Um, really? Yeah. I should be going there if I but want to liquidate any. It's a three on either side. Right. So, so, so it's really it's a, so a difference of six. The spread is six. Yeah. Typically, what we're getting for, um, you know, for oh. You know, over spot is. Uh, you well, know, I'm talking about an ounce too. Oh, an ounce. not a tenth. Yeah, but well, see, gram is very different. Yes. Right. Okay. So if you when you actually quantify that, you'll find that that difference is quite a bit more. Yeah. Okay. So we were talking about the uh, cash gold and the value of it. So you know what we really like is the fact that you can uh, get involved in this for very little over spot. So it's very economical. Uh, and what I like about it, it has multiple uses. It's not just like gold. Um, it has an, a, a usable asset as well. If you store it on the carrot pay system, like we already talked about, and you know, kind of getting back to this units, what's developed? You exchange cash gold. You're in my system. You're part of my team. You're an affiliate, and you decide to exchange into gold. Let's just use the example of uh, you want 25 grams. So you come in. You get your 25 grams, you keep it on the digital, to keep it flexible. You might want to use it, but you still have it and you can acquire it if you choose to. But you keep it mobile because maybe you want to get some KBC. And so what happens is within our ecosystem, uh, those 20, you get one unit for every gram that you exchange. Those 25 units flow all the way to the top. Now, what happens with that, anyone that's in that line, okay, that has 50 units in the other side of their business because this would be considered your power side, okay? And we're talking about legs, that sounds MLM, but it just has that business model. Every business in the world has that model, okay? Um, so we have one side that's a power side that will people will be added below you, you'll be collecting units if you're part of the dual team system. Um, and so that 25 units flows up. I have a position where I have 70,000 units on one side very highly developed. And that's, what's, the, what's the other side of that? That would be considered your developing leg. Okay, and that's okay. where you are, that's basically what you got in at as an affiliate. Uh, no, I got in as an affiliate wherever, it doesn't matter. I have one side where anyone above can place people down there and I will collect, that's what we call it the power side, is that it, it adds people below me that I didn't do anything for, but I collect units still. Okay, and so the other side, I develop on that side too. I add people to the bottom of that. I'm doing that now. People I've added here will go down below that. But I typically now will develop on my developing side. So I develop personally where no one else on above me adds people over there. They just won't do it. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It, does, it doesn't, there's no disadvantage to them, but they just keep adding to the power side, right? That's what I mean. It benefits everybody for them as they add on that side. It goes down below everybody else. So for me to earn money in the dual team system, I need to develop uh, 25 units on that side. But you put 25 in, as long as I've got um, 50 on the other side, that's called a cycle. And at my level, I would get paid 80 euros for that. Yeah. How do you how do you develop that other side? Well, I talk to people about the cool technology. I talk to them about the ability to acquire gold at a very economical price and a utilization. They don't just have the physical asset; they have the ability to use it within our ecosystem and others. So uh, that's how we approach people. So then I talk to someone; they're interested. Then what I do is I sponsor them under that side of my business. That's why I call it the development side, right? Okay, okay, so those, yeah. those are the people you bring in, and yeah. there's edu the education side you were talking about, what yeah. it's about, how the organization works. Yeah, is. exactly, and then they yeah. acquire gold, or they might uh, acquire a package to do what I did, get it to VIP, to participate in the dual team system, and then go in, and then we show them how to get onto our uh, exchange site to get to acquire KBC. Is there, um, 
what was the reason for the Carrot Bars organization going affiliate based versus you you know like a commission based corporation or some other model? Um, I think what they wanted to do was they chose this model because it tends to reach more of people like myself, just everyday guys, right? I'm, I'm a business owner, I've had multiple businesses, but small businesses, right? I'm just a, I'm just a regular guy, uh, I know I, I've earned lots of money, but typically I'm just the average guy with income, and I represent that, that field. So it, it's for the average person. When you're talking about going corporate, when you're talking about the other, they already have money, and what, what it is, yes, they can acquire 10,000, 20,000, 100,000 dollars uh, worth of gold. Well, yeah, that probably would have made the company more money, but that wasn't his vision. The visionary Harold Seitz, the, the CEO of this company, wanted to put gold and make it affordable for everyone in the world. Okay, it sounds noble and it is. Um, it's one of the reasons that I came out of retirement from anything that resembled this type of project. Done lots of them, never done anything more than mediocre success. Gave them up years ago, 20 years ago, all right? This woke me up because I looked at it, and originally, you know what, I'm gonna share this story. Uh, how I got involved in it was my best friend in Edmonton, Alberta, talked to me. He came to me and said, Ralph, it's in November, and he's, he says, you gotta look at this. Look at what? This, this thing I'm doing, you've got to take a look at it. Oh, a, a, a thing. Tell you what, no. I didn't have to even look at it. I don't do that. I have a traditional business. Uh, at the time, I was installing kitchens, <laughs> okay? And uh, selling them, designing them, installing them. And uh, I, I wanted nothing to do with anything online, anything to do with MLM, net direct marketing. I don't, I didn't want anything to do with it. I had done my soap peddling. I had done my snake oil. I had done my liquids, toxins, uh, like uh, tonics to drink. I'd done it. Did that, done that, not doing it again. He talks to me two days later. Ralph, you've got to look at it. I'm sending you the link whether you want it or not. Sends me the link. I don't open it. Not looking at it. Nope, don't want to do it. I, and then he, he bugged me the following week. He bugged me and bugged me and bugged me and bugged me. Wouldn't leave me alone. And so finally I said, okay, what's going to take to shut you up? He said, look at it. Get your free account. And I won't bug you again. So I did. I thought, okay, that's going to shut you up. And I don't have to listen to this ever again. Because it's affecting my relationship, right? Because I don't want to see him. I'm avoiding him. You know, I don't want We get together Friday nights. Might have a, you know, a cocktail and some wings or whatever. We weren't doing that anymore because I don't want to hear about it. So I did that. He stopped bugging me. It was great. It worked awesome. So now I'm, I'm coming into my slow season into December. And I didn't do that till December. It took him a month to get me to get the free account. And so I'm basically slow down for the winters. I got nothing but time on my hands. Well, you know what I did? I clicked on the link. It was the best thing I ever did. And because what I did was I found out that this company had integrity. They have been in business since 2011. And that was in 2014, December 2014. So in January of 2015, I started looking at it and, and I, I, I just thought, uh, it's gold. And it's real gold. And I'm thinking gold, I gotta buy an ounce at a time. I gotta spend $2,000 Canadian, $1,700 Canadian. I mean, I'm a working man. I've got my assets tied up in buying supplies for my next job. I don't have $1,800 to throw at this. Like, I just, I couldn't find it. And I, I thought that's what I'd have to do because I didn't understand. So when I read it and it started saying what his vision, I read his vision. And the more I looked into carrot bars and the more I looked in into it, I just thought, I actually called him and said, why didn't you tell me? You kept telling, wouldn't tell me any information. You didn't give me anything. You know, you just said, I got to look at this. I got to look at this. You know what? I'll tell you, it was gold and, and I'm not a, a, a really, what do you call it? Um, assets and items they're just things we acquire what matters to me is my family and relationships and 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 that so uh, I just really the more I looked into it the days and the turns into weeks I just fell in love with the company you know the concept of it and I could buy at that time I could buy a gram of gold uh, or I shouldn't say buy because I already talked against that I could acquire a gram of gold once a month if I choose to Right? 
Nobody's making me. It's a direct marketing model. I don't have to pay to play. I don't have to pay to earn. Um, what I had to do was just participate at where I'm comfortable. And I thought, you know what? I can do this. And by, uh, I went to the first summit in Stuttgart, which uh, qualified me as a director. And uh, in a thing where I've never experienced that kind of success in this type of business before. And, and I knew why, it was because I was passionate about it. The product was amazing. The company has a spotless track record. And I'm gonna address that too in a minute because that's important to know how to address that. Um, but that's what turned me on to it. And then they introduced Cash Gold. Then they introduced the ecosystem, uh, Carrot Pay and other aspects. Then they introduced the decentralized part of the crypto. And it just goes on and on and on. Uh, um, this ecosystem is way too complicated for me to explain, but simple to view. If you view it, the white paper, and if you view our ecosystem on a piece of paper, then it's easy to understand. I can't describe it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we can we yeah. can link to that. Yeah. Uh, so that so that people listening and watching can understand that better. Right. Yeah. So I, I guess um, you know, for me, it was just easy to talk about because they taught me when I started plugging into the team and found that there was leadership, guidance. Well, before they said, how much are you buying? Hey, they would call me. The only reason they would call me is say, look, I haven't placed your order for that month because they haven't made any money from me. So they want me to place my order. Where here, they're saying, how can we help you? How can we help you introduce this? They say, you know, here's our system. You introduce it to someone. What do you know about it? I don't know anything about it in January. Really, I knew about a little bit about the company, but I didn't know how it all worked. So they said, well, introduce it to someone. Here, send them these videos. Yeah, I can, can I, I, anybody can do that. I can do that. And that's why I was successful. Because what I did at that point is when they called me back and said, oh my God, I've got some questions. This looks really good. I didn't really get a lot of negativity. And so I said, well, you know what? I'm just new at this. I really don't have the answer to your question, but hang on a second. I'm going to get my sponsor or I'm going to get another person, my, my mentor on the phone. And she is a gold director of Elite Three. She is the who mentored me and showed me how to do this business. And I'm going to get her to answer your questions. And I'm going to get you know, another gentleman that's in Vancouver. I'll get him on the line. That's who actually explained things to me. That was my three-week call was with that gentleman. So uh, I thought, hey, I can do that. This is duplicatable, right? I don't have to know everything about the company. I, 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 there's no fear there. I just do a, I just do a simple introduction. Hey, would you like to learn how to acquire gold? I mean, 24 real carat gold physical to get in your hand. And they always say, of course I would. Hey, great. Let me send you a video. What's your email? Or it's my buddy, right? I'll say, hey, I'm going to send you an email. Take a look at it. And then they always call me back and say, Hey, I got some questions. And that's what I would do. I would introduce them to uh, my basically upline my director because they have to be a director to do three ways three way calls and then they would explain it to them but <laughs> the fear's gone i mean i was always fearful making pitches to people in other businesses right yeah you don't yeah. Have to, you don't have to know everything right yeah that's uh yeah that's interesting it's an interesting model it's an interesting model uh you know one of the issues with coin stores and most physical gold is the scalability and the mm. consistency and and there are many attempts to address that so this is an interesting one um, it'll be good well it'll be good to review the white paper yeah now you would ask yeah. me a question off camera and it was about you know why pick this business model you know and and that's a really really good question because the typical business model is like what I did I started a traditional business and what did I do I go after people with money because those who that's who can pay me. That's who can pay me to put in a high-end kitchen or a renovation. I can do a high-end renovation with people that have twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. No problem. They're just writing me a check or giving me the cash, whatever. Um, what I loved about this is that you know those people have money. So we we set up a traditional business to distribute gold throughout the world. They're not buying a gram at a time. They're buying ten thousand dollars worth, a hundred thousand dollars worth. They already have money. Um, the vision of Carrot Bars is just quite simply comes right down to this, right from the start of the product, right to everything we offer. It's for the everyday guy, okay? So that was the reason behind choosing the direct modding model. Because even MLM requires you a do a minimum per week. 
because that's how the other guys get paid. Well, you know what? I don't want to get paid on you acquiring gold. I don't need to. You want to learn to do what I do? Then you need to now be a business. And we offer that in the business, and that's how I earn an income, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you yeah, see what the difference? Well, yeah, it sounds more like a, it would be, let's talk about like a regular corporation because people are comfortable with those. Yeah. Uh, when you hire somebody, you usually pay them to the, the level of responsibility that they've adopted. And that mm -hmm. level of responsibility involves how many people they supervise. Right. And, and that's sort of. Uh, that's sort of what you're describing is when you when you take on the, you know, these educational roles and helping other people tell people about the product, then, right. then that's what it is. Yeah, it'll be, we'll look at the spot prices. You know, at the end of the day, if people can acquire a tenth of a gram of gold, uh, which is super cool, yep. and, and those bills are really cool, if they can acquire that in a lower markup way uh, from a consistent, reputable organization, you know, that's a huge win. It's, well, just think of it this way. You can get a gram of gold, cash gold, you can get three grams of cash gold, and you can get six grams of cash gold on a note, okay? You can also get 0.1 gram of cash gold. It's all the same price per gram. So you take the, for us over the price of one gram, you can get 10 one gram notes. There's no surcharge for that. Yeah, and okay. you, can't, you can't do that with the traditional model, which no. is one of the, you know, 10 ounce coins are great, uh, but the yeah. markup's big. And that's still a lot of money for a lot of people. You know, yeah. that's 200 bucks Canadian, 150 bucks US, 160 bucks US. Yeah. So um, yeah, that'll be neat to look into. Yeah. That'll be very neat to look into. And then the, those notes for just a regular guy buying those, those just get delivered, they just get mailed out. Or, yeah, what you do is you would request delivery. Okay, yeah, sure. so that's get, a different process. They okay, to you they would get shipped to you. Yeah, absolutely. If you're yeah. in a country, just so you know, we're gonna need to quantify that. There are countries, it's not legal for them to have gold shipped to them. So they only have the digital side of things, right? They need to use it, utilize it through that. But we give them lots of uses, right? It's not just simply that they got to, need to acquire it and then they're acquiring it for what? They can't take delivery, but you know what? They get to a certain point and if they're able to travel to Germany, they can physically pick it up, right? And, or they can utilize it within our ecosystem or what they can do is um, use that gold, like I said, within the ecosystem, maybe to become part of the the dual team system to the income side of it. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a neat way to get smaller increments out there. Yeah. And then the, the corporate structure sounds like it was designed to facilitate that because that is a non-traditional model. Correct. If you want to open Perth Mint, okay, I'm familiar with them. If you wanted to open a Perth Mint account, the minimum, the minimum buy-in was like $10,000 US or something like that. Right. And then you had to maintain that balance um, to buy more so if the price the spot price fell you had to anyway there's all this monkey business and right it was just totally inaccessible to a lot right of people. right so yeah that's um you know that's something we'll look into yeah for yeah sure. yeah thanks for all the background info um very interested to learn more about the phone in particular because i'm yeah. on the technology side yeah right well um, when you can access uh your entire life pretty much with your phone that's just amazing yeah yeah we'll dig we'll dig into that more yeah um thanks for all the info yeah glad to help David, it's been great getting to know you, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to uh, talk to your your, uh, your your video base. Yeah, thanks for sharing all this with them. Great Happy to, to. Great to know you, Ralph. Yep, you too.